I, my vision for the North in our community is to have, um, first of all, successful students. And we want to see that they have opportunities, you know, just like everybody else across Canada, equal opportunity for our kids. And we need our children to succeed and we need educators to be proud of who they are and who they need to become. I saw kids that really needed to have some consistency in teaching. I saw kids that needed to have teachers that stayed long enough to become a mentor and a friend. Teach for Canada is a nonprofit organization, and we work with Northern First Nations communities to recruit, prepare, and support outstanding teachers. I looked at the profiles, I looked at what motivated them and what their plans were for the future, and why it is that they wanted to go and teach in the communities. And that was a very humbling experience for me, because what I saw reflected there was not only a passion for education and a passion for learning, was an absolute commitment to social justice and equity. It's something that has never happened, that needs to happen. People that want to go and learn about the communities and, and bring knowledge that is something that is super important in bridging that gap between First Nations and non-First Nations uh, people in Canada. I grew up wishing I was tall Tall enough to take care of my own Push the boats Take my brother's home Build my house out of sticks and stone We're on campuses, we're on social media, we're raising awareness, and we're looking for outstanding teachers who are a good fit with our Northern First Nations community partners. During the summer, uh, the teachers go through a four-week training program. It focuses on history, culture, traditions, languages, pedagogy, and, and especially the importance of community and community values. Weed my grass grow to All right, now we're ready to start. And overall, the teachers learn how to provide a more community-based and culturally responsive learning environment in the school. Every community is different. Every community has their own set of goals. So it's important that each teacher's unique lesson plans respond specifically to that community's goals and values. And this includes a focus on outdoor, land-based education that is very hands-on and relevant to the students. This is my school. We need to dispel some stuff. We need to get rid of some myths and stereotypes. I think Teach for Canada is doing a fabulous job by giving teachers information that they never would have known otherwise. Walk in slowly, learn, cooperate with the people in town, and learn what they want, right? We're not going in to force our ideas onto the community. We're there to help the community enforce their ideals. The one thing that I have seen about this organization is how they have responded to community needs. It's about making sure that the contributions of Indigenous peoples are brought to life in the classroom, that the teachings are brought to life in the classroom, and that the students look at what's being taught, the content in the classroom, and see themselves reflected. She told me to work, love will keep you humble. When I grow up, I'll be just like my It's communities that have the opportunity to have a, a say and which is their rightful place to be able to say what it is that they look for qualities in a teacher. So this year 300 people applied. Next year how many more? They come down to this over 30. So that's like one in ten people got accepted in the program. So there's professional support which is mentorship and community liaisons, peer support which is the teachers themselves supporting each other and personal support where we're always there with a listening ear or to help out where we can. Yesterday just felt like, oh wow, our support is even bigger. It's a relaxed atmosphere. I didn't feel that tension. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't notice it. I didn't feel it. And, um, and I think there, that was um, a sign of wanting to learn, wanting to know. I think they're taking a lot in and they're taking it to heart is what I feel like is happening. The teachers want to go up there. The teachers have a heart for the North. I'm going to be teaching in the North, and I will be bringing my boat up to go fishing. We're pretty outdoorsy. <laughs> we just thought that being in the North, we'd fit in well with these communities. Miss, Miss, Ed, Ed, Miss, Miss, 
listen. You watch, you listen, you learn, and then you do. So that's how our community is working. And yes, we welcome you.